In the world of freeride mountain biking, there are heroes and there are legends. Winning the infamous Red Bull Rampage event once will get you the first title. Winning it four times? That's what legends do. Brandon Semenuk has not only dominated Rampage, but is also known as one of the fastest, most technical, and most innovative bike riders the world has ever seen. We got to hang out with him at his home in British Columbia, Canada, to get a first-hand look at what he can do on a bike and find out how he uses Polaris side-by-sides to push his career to even higher levels. So where are we headed today? What are your, what are your thoughts? Uh, I was thinking we just go up on some local trails. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of trail work I'd like to do. Wait for this rain to pass and then uh, we can uh, ride once there's nice wet dirt. So you're gonna give me a shovel? While. Yeah, if you wanna dig. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take all the slave work I can. I figured do. after where you've been for the past week, maybe giving you a hand wouldn't be such a terrible thing. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'd also like to learn a bit because we don't do a lot of trail building where we're from, but I'd like to know how better anyway. Yeah, I mean, the dirt should be pretty good with the rain today. Finally finally getting through the woods. So yeah, cool. this, is, uh, this is the time to take advantage. Well, and the general is the perfect vehicle to get us up there, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. The trails are kind of tight here in BC. So we got the little two-seater general that kind of can dangle through the woods and, and get us closer to the, to the mountain bike trails. You got it set up for hauling bikes and, and shovels and rakes and stuff. So it's kind of like a multi-purpose at this point. We've got like the bike rack on it, throw the tools in it. It's all enclosed, the defrost. So like, you know, we're coastal BC. It's just, it's always raining here and it's, it's gets a little cold. So keep yourself dry and uh, get to the spot on time. Just totally spoiled. I'm, I'm very spoiled. Before you had a general, what would you use to get up the hill and the mountain to, to get to a spot to start working on trails and stuff? Uh, typically, just, I mean, we'd be riding up, which is never that fun, with tools especially, or, uh, or just like a, our, our personal vehicle. Tend to take a bit of a beating. Where we parked the general is just a little walk into the bush from uh, a bike trail. So we're gonna go face up some jumps and do a bit of digging and uh, Brandon's gonna show us what it looks like in real life to hit a jump on a trail.
everything out here is so steep. It's all like straight down everywhere you go. There's no question Brandon is among the best mountain bikers who have ever lived, but in recent years, he has also begun to pursue another of his passions on a professional level. From a young age, Brandon fell in love with rally cars and rally racing. After a successful career as a privateer driver, he landed a ride on Subaru's factory rally team. Three short years later, in 2022, he and his navigator won the American Rally Association Championship, solidifying him as not just one of the world's best mountain bikers, but one of the world's best rally drivers as well. After taking a ride with you in this Razor, on these back roads, and access roads. I have to say that was probably the most shocking thing I've ever done in a side-by-side -side, at just how fast you drive this. And this isn't even in a rally car. Like what what must it be like in a rally car to be on roads this tight? Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, this is basically a bone stock machine other than we, we do have some different tires on it and, and some competition seats and harnesses, but yeah, straight out of the box. Uh, you can get into it pretty pretty good. It's, it's uh, comparable to the rally car. The rally car is obviously what we've been driving is factory Subaru car, uh, very, very capable. So it, it is quicker. It's, it's definitely been more, um, you know, built for this purpose, balanced for this purpose. So it's a really good car. But considering that this is like, you know, a tenth of the price and we haven't even really set it up yet and you can go do that, it's, it's pretty insane. Right out of the showroom, you can get a similar rally feel I mean, on a, on a smaller scale, of course, but you can get that kind of exciting sideways, back into the corners feel. Absolutely. Anybody can, yeah, just maybe it's... don't try this at home, you know? <laughs> all, all the inputs are the same. Uh, obviously the characteristics of the machine is a bit different than a rally car, but you're still, you're doing the same driving techniques. You're, you're using the machine the same, you're driving the road the same, using your apexes, yeah, getting it sideways, left foot braking. So it's, uh, yeah, it's proper. I did start uh, low class rally car production cars, you know, maybe 12, almost 13 years ago now. You kind of, you move up the, the ranks and then eventually I kind of got to a point where my speed was getting good. I was becoming competitive, but it obviously gets really expensive to get into these open class cars and these factory cars. When side-by-sides started to come around, we were, we were using them for filming and building mountain bike trails and whatnot, but they're starting to get like really good for actually like performance driving. So started to you know do a bit more with side-by-sides and just just getting back on the back roads is seat time it's way cheaper uh, and then the American championship actually opened up some opportunities to compete in uh, side-by-sides at the rally event so events I was already kind of doing but I couldn't afford to go there with a full-blown rally car so it was like well let's you know you know let's do the affordable way and just take the side-by-side -side. I drive every day and and just go out there with it and see how it holds up. And, and we had some really good success with just a stock side-by-side. -side. So uh, it was honestly just cheap seat time. Like, and it, it was amazing because I was doing it all the time. I was comfy in it already. Like we're literally on you know, the same road rallying like this. And so I already had a really good feel in the machine. And then I go to the rally and it'd just be the same thing on new roads and pushing the machine. And it was, it was amazing. So that really helped me gain more experience to you know build up and, and capitalize on when I was in a proper rally car you know full-blown open class car or like a rally two car it just upped my level with uh, with driving 
So really for you, Rally just kind of came about because I mean, like a lot of kids, a lot of young kids, it just looked awesome. Absolutely, yeah. We just, it, it looked, it just looked like mountain biking with an engine, you know, it was like, <laughs> the roads are like the mountain bike trail and, and that is the feeling you get when you're in these. It's just, it's just amplified speed wise and, and the, the feeling you get in the, the cockpit, cockpit of the machine. So uh, yeah, it just, it just looked way too fun. You and I were talking quite a bit about what is it about this Razor that gives you that same kind of feel of being in a rally car and, and therefore gives you that aspect of training because you're getting that same feeling. But what is it about the Razor that just works for you? What, why is this vehicle the, the vehicle of choice? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's like Polaris's ultimate performance machine. Like this is the new platform for uh, performance in, in a lot of categories, obviously desert and, and back roads like these and going to the short course tracks and whatnot. So this for me, like the aspects that, that kind of allow us to, to do what we're doing today has been, uh, you know, the, the engine package is insane. Like naturally aspirated four cylinder. It's, it's that instant power. So you can hard on brakes and instant on throttle, get that, you know, get the wheels turning, get, get the drive to the ground. So that's definitely um, a big one for me. And then the balance of the machine, I, th I think they've done a really good job with, with this new machine. Like obviously the sway bars they've added and the, and the way the suspension works, it really stands the machine up. You don't get too much body roll so you can, you can quickly kind of adjust your, your balance from corner to corner, get the machine sliding both ways. Dynamics DV has a big part in that too. Yeah, absolutely. This, the active suspension is, is unreal and you, you have your own settings. So, uh, you know, you can flip through and figure out what works for you. Uh, obviously we were, we were on a track setting today. I think it gives us the most feeling through the steering wheel. It, it holds the machine nice and like tight, just like it doesn't allow it to, to be too lazy. Um, so that's, that's been a big part along with, you know, obviously the, the way that all the control arms and, and sway bars are set up. It's just way more balanced than other machines I've driven. So you can, uh, I mean, there's a lot of power too. Well, so I was going to say it's balanced, but it you're, also you're goes pushing like crazy. it. Yeah, it really <laughs> needs that balance because you're able to you know, push uh, at a, a much higher speed than some of the machines I've had in the past. Yeah, as far as motorsports go, I, I'm stoked to do more with uh, Polaris and UTVs. Obviously, rally is my passion. Stage rally is, is what I want to do for a, a long time if I have the opportunity. Hopefully, get to experience some, some world rally rounds, some other championships, you know, branch outside of uh, just North America. Just, you know, new roads, new experiences, new drivers. But, but obviously, American Championship has been, uh, you know, our main target the last few years. So, you know, like definitely within North America, I want to stay competitive as well. Uh, we'll just see what opportunities kind of present themselves, but as long as I'm behind the wheel and I, I get to do this stuff, I'm, <laughs> I'm happy. Awesome.